What if I told you there was such a thing as a perpetual money-making machine and that you could build this machine to give you back a thousand percent of what you put in every single year and that all it took to get this magic money-making machine running was a bit of time and a bit of effort. Sounds too good to be true, right? But if it was true, you'd probably be interested in owning one of these magic machines, wouldn't you? And it's probably safe to say that you'd sacrifice time with friends, girls, and your family to make it happen. And it's probably safe to say that you'd sacrifice every major purchase until you built your machine. I know that I would. In fact, I did because there actually is such a thing as a money machine. It's called a business. And when you own your own business, you own a machine that pays for your life and everything in it. Your business gives you everything and asks for nothing in return. Your business doesn't tell you what to wear, where to sit, what to do. It just pays for your life. Your business doesn't threaten to fire you if you take a few days off. It just pays for your life. Your business keeps working for you day and night, and in the morning, it's right where you left it. Your business is the best friend you could ask for, yet most of you work a job you hate. When you work a job, you own nothing, and you get paid as long as you sell your time and not a minute longer. Your job asks for everything and gives you nothing. Your job tells you what to wear, where to sit, and what to do. Your job threatens you with bankruptcy at the slightest sign of independence or assertiveness. Your job will never work for you and will fire you at a moment's notice. Your job is not your friend. Your job is a petty, jealous tyrant. Now I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. You already know you hate your job. You already know you don't get paid enough. You already know that magic money-making machines actually exist in the real world. So I only have one question for you. Why are you still working for somebody else? Why are you doing something you hate? Why are you letting someone pay you less than your worth? Why are you giving your youth to build someone else's business when you could be building your own? The answer is because most of you aren't playing the game of life to win. You're playing to get by. And the cost of that game plan is spending your life as a cog in another man's money machine. I get it though. I can't lie, I've been there too. I gave a lot of my youth to making other guys richer because I was too lazy, too distracted, and too unsure. But since then, I failed more times than all my friends combined and failure doesn't scare me anymore. You know what scares me now? The thought of another freezing cold February Monday morning commute. The thought of having to take home 15% of what I bring in. The thought of having to call another man my boss, that's the shit that gives me nightmares. But it's not just about the bullshit and it's not just about the money. It's about something much more important to me. Ownership of my own life. Because when you work for someone else, you don't own your own life, they do. It doesn't matter how big your dick is, how strong you are in the gym, or how many girls you've fucked. For 50 hours a week, you're someone else's bitch. They tell you when to come in, where to sit, where to piss, when to eat, and when you get to go home. In return, you get paid just enough to get by. But maybe you're okay with that because at least you have a steady paycheck and a big screen TV. And getting by is safer than starting your own business because business ownership is too risky, right? Wrong. A job is actually the riskier proposition. Any business can fail, but you can only get fired from a job. More importantly though, when you work for someone else, you never learn the most important skill in life, how to hunt. The truth is, we're nothing more than apes living in a concrete jungle and we need to hunt to survive. But instead of hunting game, we hunt revenue. And when you can't hunt for yourself, you have to satisfy your hunger with another man's leftovers. Not so when you own your own business. When you own your own business, you learn how to generate revenue how to adapt to consumer demand, and how to become a producer. You don't learn any of that as an employee. As an employee, the second your skills become outdated, your master will put you down like the old dog that you are. And by then it'll be too late to learn how to hunt because you can't teach an old dog new tricks. All those clients you brought on, that revenue you brought in, none of that fucking matters. All you leave with is your balls in your hand and a sob story. 
And that's if you have any balls left after a lifetime of wage slavery. This is reality. Life is not a trial run. You only get to be young once. You only have a limited amount of time and energy to build that business. Every day that you're not working towards that goal, you are fucking up. I promise you that. By the time you're 40 and you've got a wife and a family and a mortgage, it's too fucking late. That's why you need to get smart now. And the smart way to live is to own revenue and rent expenses. But most of you are doing the exact opposite. Most of you are renting revenue from someone else's business and buying expenses. Expenses that you can't afford, like a house or a car or the biggest expense of all, a wife. That's hustling backwards, player. You can't pursue expenses over revenue. You're not the federal government. You can't run up a $19 trillion tab on the taxpayer's dime. If you have to borrow to buy it, you can't afford it. When you borrow, you're not playing the game of life. You're getting played. When you borrow, you become a cog in the machine of your bank manager, your car dealer, and your wife. It's a nasty game that you're born into, and that's no accident. You're supposed to get played. You're supposed to stay unfree, unfulfilled, and unaware. And you're supposed to give back everything you earn to the guys who run the game. You're supposed to pay interest to the bankers, taxes to the politicians, and payments to the executives. And you're supposed to be too stupefied by poverty and too distracted by trinkets to see what the fuck is going on. That's the bad news. The good news is there's a way out. Not for everybody, but for you if you want it bad enough. You can't change the nature of the game, but you can change your position. But to change your position requires a change of perspective. And to change your perspective, you need to change the way you look at money. Money is your ticket to freedom. Instead of looking at money as a tool to buy expenses, look at money as a tool to buy revenue. Instead of looking at money as a tool to buy toys, look at money as a way to buy the runway for you launching your business. Instead of thinking about what you can consume, think about what you can produce. An iPhone, a thousand dollar suit, a BMW, these are all traps unless you're already rich. Once you're rich, you can buy whatever the fuck you want. But until then, you have to pursue revenue ownership over everything else. If you don't, you'll never get free. Even investing is a trap. Why settle for 8% a year when you can invest in yourself and do 1,000% a year? A business is the only thing you need to invest in. And until you get control of your income, you can't afford to buy or invest in anything else. So, do you want to play to win or just to get by? If you want to keep playing to get by, then I can't help you because even when you're playing to win, business ownership is hard enough. Money machines exist in the real world and the competition is fierce. That's why 90% of new businesses fail. To avoid failure and take control of your cash flow, you only need to do two things. Work hard and pick the right business. But most guys half-ass it and pick the wrong business. They bet their future on a product-based crapshoot in an unproven market and get crushed. Instead, you want to stack the deck in your favor by starting a service-based business and working your ass off. All you need to succeed is a phone, an internet connection, and the ability to sell. Just choose a service and where you want to live. If you're planning on living in a first world country, then you need to start an offline business. Because first world countries are expensive, you need to sell expensive services like real estate. If you're planning on living in a second world country, then you can start an online business. Because second world countries are cheaper, you can sell less expensive services like web design. Once you know what you want to do, it's time to take action. It's a matter of saving, planning your exit, and getting your first customer. And if you're smart, you'll get that first customer before you quit your job. If you're serious about playing to win, you'll make building your business priority number one. From now on, everything else comes second. That's the price you have to pay to play to win. You've got to pay the cost to be the boss. The cars, the clothes, the toys, the product-based business. You can still have all that, just not right now. First, you have to buy your freedom. But once you're free, the world is yours. Five years from now, when your machine is printing you 10 grand a month, 
You can buy whatever the fuck you want, but not until then. Until then, you have to focus on getting free. Money is power. You either control it or it controls you. So take control of your cash flow and take control of your life.